Unconventional warfare UW is the support of a foreign insurgency or resistance movement against its government or an occupying power. Whereas conventional warfare is used to reduce the opponent's military capability directly through attacks and maneuvers, unconventional warfare is an attempt to achieve victory indirectly through a proxy force. UW contrasts with conventional warfare in that forces are often covert or not well defined and it relies heavily on subversion and guerrilla warfare. Objectives As with all forms of warfare, the general objective of unconventional warfare is to instill a belief that peace and security are not possible without compromise or concession. Two original definitions are claiming, "...the intent of U.S. unconventional warfare efforts is to exploit a hostile power's political, military, economic, and psychological vulnerabilities by developing and sustaining resistance forces to accomplish U.S. strategic objectives." Or according to John F. Kennedy, "...there is another type of warfare." New in its intensity, ancient in its origin war by guerrillas, subversives, insurgents, assassins, war by ambush instead of by combat, by infiltration instead of aggression, seeking victory by eroding and exhausting the enemy instead of engaging him. It preys on unrest. Unconventional warfare can be employed in furtherance of one of three strategic outcomes overthrow of an existing government or occupying power, disruption of the operations of that power, or the coercion of that power. Topic. Methods and organization Unconventional warfare targets civilian population psychologically to win hearts and minds, and only targets military and political bodies for that purpose, seeking to render the military proficiency of the enemy irrelevant. Limited conventional warfare tactics can be used unconventionally to demonstrate might and power, rather than to substantially reduce the enemy's ability to fight. In addition to the surgical application of traditional weapons, other armaments that specifically target military can be used are, airstrikes, nuclear weapons, incendiary devices, or other such weapons. Special forces, inserted deep behind enemy lines, are used unconventionally to train, equip, and advise locals who oppose their government. They can also spread subversion and propaganda, while they aid native resistance fighters, to ultimately cause a hostile government to capitulate. Tactics focus on destroying military targets while avoiding damage to civilian infrastructure and blockading military resupply are used to decrease the morale of government forces. The USA Department of Defense defines unconventional warfare as activities conducted to enable a resistance movement or insurgency to coerce, disrupt, or overthrow a government or occupying power by operating through or with an underground, auxiliary, and guerrilla force in a denied area. Also called UW. Topic see also Asymmetric warfare Hybrid warfare Fourth generation warfare Irregular military Irregular warfare Low intensity conflict Partisan military Political warfare Psychological warfare Resistance movement Terrorism Unrestricted warfare A seminal work on unconventional stay-behind warfare is Major Hans von Dax der Total Widerstand Total Resistance, Six-Legged Soldiers, a scientific warfare book on another potential form of unconventional warfare, by Jeffrey A. Loquitus and NATO-specific, Operation Gladio Project Eldest Son Reagan Doctrine Special Activities Division U.S. Army Special Forces. 